What's going on, everybody? Welcome. We're back with a brand new video. Happy New Year. Happy 2023. I hope you guys have so many goals in mind that you guys want to bring to life. I know I do. It's very important to visualize it, have it written down, see it every single day. If you, um, you know, don't have it up somewhere, um, I hope you guys, you know, have these goals in mind you guys plan it and execute it i hope all your wishes for 2023 come true because i know i'm gonna make mine come true i'm gonna work my hardest and i want to show you guys a lot of it um on my youtube thank you guys so much for subbing you guys are running up the subs and i'm so happy to be back for 2023 um and i'm so happy to be back with my two new series episode one of trader's mindset is already up if you guys want to go watch it or if you missed it and episode one which is this video right here is something that we've been delaying since november and it's going to be the ftmo challenge series where i'm going to break down every session i'm going to break down every trade i take win or lose and kind of show you the journey of me getting ftmo funded for the third time now which is kind of crazy um the reason why it's been postponed so much is because of bank holidays short weeks you know it's just not worth it if you're going to go you know if you're on the time period which you are on the challenge you have 30 days um, so if you're on the time period, it's not just really not worth it to um, trade on a FTMO account. Um, but we're back. I'm so happy. It's 2023, man. Clean slate, man. You know, I'm just going to try my best to be as transparent as I can with you guys. I'm going to be breaking down everything again. And since I'm going to be breaking down everything, remember, you guys want to turn on the post notifications on because this way you guys can see the video before it drops. I always drop my videos before session so you guys have time to watch it. You guys have time to analyze it, mark up your charts, see what I'm looking for, what I'm going to take and why, and then take the trade with me um, as I break it down during session. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram because that's where I really update everything. So remember, to turn the post notifications on and subscribe if you have it. I don't know what I'm pointing at. Hopefully I insert something here, but make sure you guys don't do those two things. Um, one of them helps me, one of them helps you. You know, it's a give and take kind of thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, I'm happy to be breaking down GJ for you guys. Happy to start the new series. And I'm just happy to accomplish everything that I'm going to set out for. And I hope you guys are just excited to manifest it, bring the energy because the energy that you bring, you know, is going to come right back to you. So Hope you guys enjoy the video. Remember, sub, like, comment, notifications on. What am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? And happy new year, guys. Happy 2023. I hope you guys achieve everything you guys want to. Um, see you on the charts. Yo, so I'm sure you guys have seen this uh, screen so many times, and I'm here to show you guys that the FTMO challenge status is ready. There is no start or end date because it starts on the day that you place a trade, and I'm so happy to show you guys this journey, showing you guys that there is a complete clean slate. Here is the receipt. This is, you know, not a screenshot. I'm scrolling. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to add some numbers on these, show you guys, you know, this journey of getting FTMO funded and show you guys every single step of the way. And now I'm going to be going over to GBBJPY, and that's the only thing I'll be breaking now today, not GBP USD, because USD holiday, um, USD banks are still going to be closed, I believe, or actually, I don't think they are, but I just don't want to trade uh, GBP USD right now. I just want to focus on one pair, and that's GBP JPY. Uh, as you see right here, we're clear of news. We have all day news for every single currency, but you know, it's medium impact. Shouldn't be that you know that impactful on the markets, but you know, here we are. We're going to break down GBP JPY. Hope you guys enjoy. So uh, most of our analysis is going to come from the daily time frame. That's because in my eyes, that's where I see structure the very clearest. You know, I tell everybody, you guys want to just, you know, pick the time frame that makes sense, right? What can you see the most out of? Where you can you collect data the most, right? And although our analysis is going to come from the daily time frame, we're, of course, going to start on the weekly time frame and show you the markups that I got and some of the pointers that I have now, right? So there's one thing important to notice is that now we're falling under this 50 EMA, right? We've broken under just like we did over here, but there's a difference, right? We broke under with this bearish candle and the very next candle closed right back above making it a testing candle that is a form of support and resistance where you test you know the 50 ema but if you see over here the weekly candle decides to close under another one forms under retests it and then continues to go bearish so we are under the 50 ema i could potentially see price to just continue to go down um, it has gone to bearish ever since we hit the supply and demand area all the way up here. So my bias for the weekly time frame is bearish, although we are at a key area right here marked off by this 
uh, box right here, this little zone. We, so we are looking to go bearish based on the weekly time frame. That's just where the direction that I see so far. But we are at a critical area, and it's important to keep that in mind. So for the daily time frame, right before I get to the daily, I'm actually going to go to the four hour because the daily's wrong. I'm, you know, I'm gonna, you know, nah. Actually, we're gonna start on the daily time frame again. So as you see, we're in a range of market all the way up here, and this was back in October and November, very rangy, even in the beginning of December, and then we end up getting this big break under and what had happened was you know in the month of december was we break under we create a lower low now right just like the weekly breaking under right but the daily is not breaking up as well so we have a little bit of time frame confluence we break under create a lower low we create a lower high and then we're breaking down low right now to create another lower low so the daily time frame looks very clear to me if you take this right here oops if we take this right here and put it clear right you can kind of identify what we want right so if we break out of this range break under and retest and break another one what are we going to be looking for well when you follow market structure we're going to be looking to retest the most previous structure point and then continue to go short from there so when you come up here, you can kind of see what I'm looking for, right? We're at a crucial area, but I do believe that right now we're in a quote unquote perfect downtrend where you got a lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, or in bullish, you got a higher, high, higher, low to higher, high to higher, low, you know, just a basic market structure pattern, right? So right now we have a basic bearish pattern so we can follow clearly, right? So we have a lower, low, lower, high, lower, high lower high and then another lower low so what i'm predicting price to do i think on the daily time frame looks so nice what i'm predicting the price to do is come back up and just continue this quote unquote perfect market structure create a lower high and you know after we create the lower high i do think price here is going to sell off and then create another lower low and then from there on it's going to be another trade tomorrow's problem we'll break down down later but i do believe right now we are going to follow this bearish trend i do believe we're going to come up pull back to 159.15139 um and go short down here and just continue this pattern we have here right lower low lower high lower low lower high and then short at the lower high to go low right but the important thing is to keep note of is that we are at this crucial area. This box right here is very crucial. It is a big supply and demand area. If you see over here, if you see over here, we have rejection over here. We have rejection all across the board over here and we have more rejection over here and yeah, we're just at a crucial area. So we're going to be careful, you know, picking our trade. I might not even short, I might not even short above this supply and demand area because it doesn't make sense, right? The supply and demand area to me looks like a wall. And, you know, I need that wall to be broken through first before I want to keep running, right? Before I want to keep running past it. We want to break through it first before we want to keep running past it. So even if our prediction of price coming up here, rejecting, create a lower high, and then selling here goes through, I probably still won't take the sell here because we're still going to be above this zone once we break this zone right and then come and retest this area that's when i think i'll be looking to go short but the first confirmation will be right here will be any structure right here this is where i am going to be confirming my short bias and then when the second break and retest comes that's when i'll be looking to enter i'm giving you guys the exact precise entry what i'm looking for and what i want to happen so the first entry i believe and first entry slash confirmation i believe is going to be right here at 159.139 but i do want price to then break low retest and go short to take any sort of trade right <laughs> So on the H4 time frame, the reason why I'm really breaking down and basing this off on the daily time frame is because the H4 time frame, you know, is just in this bearish just meltdown right now, right? We've been going bearish and just melting uh, for 500 pips right now. So it's not that it's clear. It's just not as clear as the daily time frame, right? So again, the H4, you know, this is kind of what I when I'm looking on the H4 is kind of just a validate and justify the daily time frame right so just like i said everything you know just like i mean just like i said before what comes down must come up what comes up must come down right and right now on, on gpp gpy you see this very and crazy bearish momentum right now right with no there's no interruption just bearish 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 bearish, bearish. yes you do get these bullish candles in here but they're not significant enough right you're not getting a pullback so in my head right because i have this bearish bias on the daily time frame the week 
weekly time frame, I do want to keep one thing in mind, and that's no retest, no entry. I would not take any short if we do not come up and retest this area, and the H4 is what tells me that, because the H4 is showing me that we're having bearish momentum coming straight down. No matter what, we're always going to get a pullback, right? It's just impossible. I've never seen, you know, prices continue to melt and melt and melt and melt and melt and you know at that point you're just looking for a thousand pip move you know you're gonna get those pullbacks you're gonna get a pullback no matter what every time in the market the market will always correct go then the same way it was going right so even if we continue to see more bull i'm not saying there won't be no bearish movement but even if we see more bearish movement let's say down to here no matter what at some point we're going to pull back and that's where we're going to want to take our trade right so the h4 is just telling me to be patient we are having bearish momentum coming with no interruption so i do in my mind expect the pullback you know we're going to be cautious around the supply and demand area but that is my gbp jpy uh analysis hopefully you guys um take this and run with it and hopefully you guys take the trade with me hopefully what happens what i call out happens and again be careful you know it is the first week back markets are kind of you know you know i don't know what you guys trade but this isn't the prettiest to me but i do like it on the daily time frame, I, I do like the setup, but I've seen better setups. You know what I'm saying? And that's Forex, right? You want to be careful. So that's my GBP JPY setup. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, subscribe, like, comment, turn the post notifications on so you guys see the videos in advance. And thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in London. Deuces.